Hello boys and girls, it's time for our Letters and Sounds activity. Let's see if we can go through the sounds that we already know first and then we have a new sound. We're going to learn a new sound to add to all of these other sounds that we already know. Are we ready? Oh, 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 oh. G, 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 g. Mm. Two letters, one sound. Are we ready to hear and see the new sound for this week? Are we ready? Here we go. This is what it looks like. Are you ready to see? This is our new letter sound. This letter makes this sound. Are you ready? Eh. Can you make this sound? Eh. Your turn. My turn, eh, your turn, excellent, eh, eh, and we have eh for an egg, boys and girls, a gooey, runny egg. And we say, when we practice forming this letter, we say, we lift off the top and we scoop out the egg. We lift off the top and we scoop out the egg. Let's do it again, ready? We lift off the top and we scoop out the egg. Like when we have dippy eggs and soldiers, we have to cut the top of the egg off so we can use our soldiers, our pieces of bread to dip in the runny egg. Lift off the top and scoop out the egg. And then, if we have a little look closely at what's on the bottom, on the egg cup that's holding the egg, who do we have here? What four-legged friend do we have here? We have an elephant. What sound can you hear at the beginning of elephant? Eh, eh, elephant. Yes, the eh, eh sound. Eh, elephant. Eh, egg. Eh, elephant. Egg. Excellent. Oh, e eggs. Excellent, I should say. Egg. Excellent. Now then, in the red box today, we've got lots of different things hiding in here. I'm waiting to show you with the e sound at the beginning. So we already know about the e for egg. That's right. E for egg. We've got E for elephant, which was on the egg cup. We have E for eggplant. Eggplant, a vegetable that we can eat, that we can chop up. Oh, very tasty eggplant. And we have a different type of egg. We can make our eggs Fried eggs. Have you had your eggs like this before? When you might have had your breakfast, have you had them on your plate looking like this before? Yummy! Lots of different ways to eat eggs. E -e eggs. And then we have one more thing in the box. And look what it is. Oh, I might have to put the e -e sound down to show you because if I turn it round, it has a little flap on there like that and I can open it up like that as well. What do you think this is called? What is it? It's a little envelope. So when you get your birthday cards and Christmas cards, you have to open up the envelope and you pull out your card. So it's a little e -e envelope, envelope. We can hear the e sound at the beginning of the word envelope. 
So now we have got a story and it's all about the new sound E. Eh. So let's have a look. This is called My E eh Book. So let's see what happens in this story about so we've got a little boy then, he's wearing a jumper with the E eh sound on. My E eh book. Little E eh had a box. I will fill my box, he said. Little E eh found eggs. E eh for eggs. Eggs and eggs. He put the eggs into his box. Little E found elves. The elves danced and danced. E for elves. Then little E put the elves into his box. The elves played with the eggs. Be careful, elves, said little E. Eh. Now the box was heavy, so little E eh found an elephant. A big elephant, E eh for elephant. Hop on, said the elephant. The elephant went up and down. The eggs fell out of the box. The elves fell too. So did little E. Eh. What a mess, little E eh said. Now who will help me fill my box? An Eskimo came by. I will help you, he said. We will find lots of eggs together. Guess where he found eggs for little E? Eh? Guess who had pretty eggs for everyone? Elephant did, the elves did, the Eskimo did, and so did the and so did the rabbit have lots of eggs as well. More words with little e. Eh. Little e eh has another sound in some words. He says his name. Listen for little et's name. Elevator, envelope, eagle, eel, emu, Easter. Which is your favourite e eh object with the e eh sound? Can you point to your favourite object with the E eh sound, your favourite picture? I think mine might have to be the E eh for Easter, I think, because I like Easter eggs. And it's coming up to Easter very shortly, very soon. So that was a story about a boy called Little E. Eh. So E eh is our new sound and we practice forming it, remember, by saying lift off the top and scoop out the egg. Eh, eh, eh. And I'll see you tomorrow for our other activity to use the E eh sound together. Bye for today and see you tomorrow.